All right, you guys, I'm going to start this haircut off by picking out the hair. It is super important to pick out the hair. That way, you'll get an even cut. Um, throughout this process of me cutting the hair, you'll notice that I'll go back to picking it out before, you know, I actually start cutting the hair. And this is because, you know, as the hair sits, it kind of shrinks back down if you don't keep, you know, picking it out. So you want to make sure you keep picking out and uh, brush everything down and lay it in place because um, it makes for a cleaner cut when you brush and pick everything out. Using my Andy Slimline Pro Allies, I'm going to be setting in my first bald line. Um, right now, I'm starting at the bottom of my client's sideburn and I'm bringing it around his ear. Um, I'm making sure that everything is uh, neat. I, I kind of visualize his head and I put the same shape that's on his head at the top of his head at the bottom, if that makes sense. So right now I'm just going completely around my client's hair, uh, keeping that same, you know, smoothness with the bald line. It's kind of like a design, if you will. Um, usually I'll start on the right side and I'll go to the left side, but I'm just going to bring this side all the way around because, you know, I I've cut this client before and I, I, I with his head shape, I, I, I kind of know what I'm doing. So, but usually you want to start from the right side, then meet up, you know, in the back. Right now I'm using my wall magic clips and I'm balding out the rest of the bulk at the bottom. Now it's a lot of clippers that you guys can use. You guys can use, you know, detachable clippers, you know, the BGRCs. I just like to use my magic clips because, you know, it's cordless, it's cheaper, and, you know, I, I, I'm just more comfortable with using a wall balding clipper rather than any other clipper. I'm just setting my ways basically, alright? So don't be afraid to use the, uh, the detachables to bald out the bottom because it actually, uh, you know, works better. Just in my case, I like the way the magic clips look and you know I just like to be different with balding out. Now using my Oster's Fast Feeds, I'm gonna use the lever open and I'm going up about an inch. Um, this might be a little bit more than an inch, but I'm making sure that I keep the same distance uh, with this guideline. I'm going to run it all the way to the back and make sure I keep everything consistent. Um, these clippers are custom done by B. Clarkson on um, B. B. Clark's B. B. Dot Clark Customs on Instagram. Um, yeah, he does a lot of good good work so you know I got my clippers from him if you guys are wondering like I said I'm just keeping everything consistent uh, you know running it through the back of my clients hair and I'm making sure that I go over it multiple times to get everything in that lever open Now with my one guard open, the exact same width, I'm going up about a little bit more than an inch. Um, I'm running the clipper straight up. Um, I'm not really digging in with the, with, with the clipper. Um, I'm making sure everything is the same length. And I'm just going over it multiple times so that everything can be at that one guard length.
Now using the two guard open, I'm running the clippers straight up. This is not necessarily a guideline, which it can be, don't get me wrong, but I'm just taking off the bulk from the top and making sure that the shape is right. All right, I'm not using my balding clippers because they're still a little bit at the bottom that needs to be, you know, at that two guard uh, level. So that's why I'm just running the two guard up. Of course, I will be shaping the head after, you know, with my with my balding clippers. But for now, I'm just, you know, putting that shape in with the two guard. Now with the one guard closed, I am softening up that middle line. That way it's easier to take it out with the next guard. Keep in mind you want to use the flick out motion. Um, whenever you're, you know, blending, you want to, you know, use the flick out motion. You don't want to just set in the guideline. Um, when you, Matter of fact, when you're setting in the guideline, it's not a flick out motion. You're just digging in, putting it in, all right? And with the, when you're fading, you wanna use the flick out motion. In that same flick out motion with the zero guard closed, flick out the middle line. Now it's completely easier for you to get it out and um, you should be able to just, you know, flick it out with ease. If not, I have another thing that, can, that you could use to try to get out that line, which is using the lever open in a flick out motion. Now with the lever open, just flick out and clean up that middle line. Now with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Keep in mind, the further you go up, the more you're gonna have to open that blade.
Right now I'm picking out the hair once again just to make sure everything is stretched out so I can, um, you know, do my uh, shape up work. Um, now what you're going to see is me spray hairspray on the top. This locks everything in place, alright, it makes it more easier for you to do your shape up and uh, the hair gets real stiff, all you got to do is blow dry it and uh, it'll stay in that same position as you guys can see. Right now I'm using my magic clips to shape everything up and uh, you just want to be real careful with how you want your shape to come out looking. So right now I'm just going along side of the, the high top if you will and just taking off the little hairs and I'm going to be doing this um, around the whole hair basically just taking off the frizz. Right now, combing down the front line, making sure everything is laid, because you don't want to start cutting um, when everything is not laid down, because when your client starts picking out his hair and, you know, brushing his hair down, you know, things will start overlapping and you don't want that. So make sure everything is combed out before you start lining.
YouTube, this is The Cut. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is GZ360. My Instagram is 360GZ. But it's your boy 360GZ. And I'm out of here. Cheers.